Hello, everyone. Um, I hope you can hear me. Oh, yes, you can hear. We can hear you. Okay. Uh, uh, so, I am uh, Chang Chen, and uh, with my supervisor, Dr. Alevaiko, we both come from uh, Nicholas Copernicus Stone Maker Center. And uh, I'd like to introduce you with the project that we, we, we are now doing. Um, the topic is about the uh, kinetic simulations of the ion, uh, electron ions plasma. The configuration of the magnetic field is the so-called ABC field. ABC field stands for Arnold uh, Beltrami Chargeless uh, Magnetic Field. It is uh, unstable when the wavelength is larger than one. And uh, uh, when typical, uh, the, the field is illustrated in the figure. And uh, when one of the uh, typical feature uh, the, that it distinguishes the, with the Harris layer type is that uh, ABC field doesn't need uh, uh, initial and initial current layer. That, that's, that's it. And uh, we did a particle in shell simulations with the Zeltron code. And uh, the uh, particle mass ratio is uh, set to be 10. And we also tried it with the 100. And we cover a lot of uh, um, temperature, space, and for the uh, ions in the horizontal and uh, the electron temperatures in the vertical. And we data the simulations on the grid. And uh, we presented the spectra um, in this figure. We, because there are a lot of different, uh, it looks they are different. We um, separated them into three different uh, types. For top one, we mean that it, the peak of the distribution is dominated by the electrons. And the type two, uh, we mean that an electron and an ion, they are equally uh, dominated in the peaks. And the, for type three, is ion dominated. And uh, we measure the slope for the spectra and, and uh, faded them into curves. For the ions, it's in the red color, and uh, you could say that it reached even to around the two. Uh, this is uh, uh, very hard in the in the ABC field. And uh, you perhaps you notice that we use the sigma ion to to find a correlation between them. Um, the reason is that a sigma ion is uh, related to the uh, second order for me uh, process with the exponent of uh, minus one over two. So we kind of uh, confirm this, uh, um, this, th th this uh, theory. And uh, um, I show you the uh, current uh, layer produced uh, during the instability progress and uh, um, Across the current layer, uh, we measure the perpendicular profiles, all these parameters. We, sorry, uh, we, we measured in the two white boxes. And for the particle, particle uh, number density and the particle energy and uh, the current density, they all looks like uh, uh, a spike in the middle and have uh, broader winds. And uh, to the velocity and the ma magnetic field and the electric field, they all have uh, some kind of like uh, uh, change of the sign across the uh, the layer, current layer. So it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, very uh, typical, I think, for the terrain stability. And also, there is a now idea electric. Uh, field and which also helps for the particle acceleration and uh, yeah because we want to understand the difference between ions and electrons for the top panels we present the uh, ions with different parameters and the electrons in the bottom and uh, but however it seems that they behave quite similar and uh, we also measure, uh, uh, performed the individual particle tracking. 
And uh, here is just showing the most the energetic particles for the top 40 uh, particles. And uh, for the three type simulations, type one in the first column and a type two and a type three, for the upper rows is, uh, uh, is the, are the ions, ion pieces and the bottom electrons. And uh, perhaps you will notice that there is an abruptly increase in the energy, particle energy. This indicated the, the linear instability states. And uh, the particle acceleration, they may relate to two uh, main factors. One is the, the magnitude of uh, the electric field. The other is the, the, the time interval that they used to accelerate. So we want to decompose these two factors, which uh, wanted to understand which affect them more. And so we make the scatter of the uh, 20 most, uh, 200 most, most uh, energetic particles. And for the upper row, we uh, compel the momentum, the outer plane uh, momentum and the, the in-plane momentum terms. And uh, the, you, you could, you could uh, notice that the outer plane component, which uh, related to the uh, zeth component of the electric field, it's a little bit uh, um, bigger than the than the in-plane components, and so uh, these these are true for the uh, for the efficient uh, cases. But however, like uh, ions in the type three, it's uh, inefficient in the particular acceleration. Uh, which is uh, here you can say it's uh, inefficient. So, so the 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 zeth component of the current uh, the, the electric uh, field is not a uh, contributor less. So, and uh, the bottom row we compare with the magnitude of the electric field with the time interval that they needed to accelerate the, um, the particles. And for, for these uh, efficient cases, um, the, the magnitude, to, magnitude of the electric field is, uh, uh, it seems contribute more. more. And for this uh, uh, inefficient case, like, uh, uh, like type three, and uh, you, you notice the the, the blue color, these uh, electrons, they, it uh, need a, a very long, uh, longer, longer time scale. And uh, perhaps you could uh, also uh, say from this figure, it, the, 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 the experience the longer acceleration time. So that this is the summary and uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, now it's time for the questions. If there are no questions, Let's thank the speaker I have again. one question. Is the Zeltron okay, code publicly available or is it your own code? How, how is the code developed? Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, open source. It's developed by the um, group that is uh, in Colorado, Colorado but uh, written by uh, Ben Y and uh, Werner. And uh, it's, it's, it's public. Uh, you, you can you can download it from the, their website. Thank you. Okay, thank you. If there are there any other questions? Yes, hello. Yes, please. Yes, I have just a small question. I'm sorry. Uh, what 
do you think that we can also try to make the differentiation between difference between a uh, jet that they are uh, electron positron dominated or electron proton dominated that the the total mass which is included in the proton electrons dominated just the arm um, actually more massive than the other part than the other category and in particular, in the case of M87, the jet is optically thin, as you know it. And we probably, it could be that this is, some people argue that this is more or less proton dominated jet. Do you agree with this argument? It seems, I, I'm not a, quite a sure about it that, um, but. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry, I, I don't really know. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Are there any other questions? If not, let's thank the speaker again.